Here we are, good morning, welcome back to another episode. We are in the nav, it's finally finished and this is a little shakedown run before we hand it over to James. The car gets detailed Monday on the truck and we hand it over. But I always said I wanted to do one trip in it when it was finished, so we're heading over to Fraser Island. We've got Michael here with us. We do have a special guest, Khan, who I did meet a while ago. Uh, there was some stuff on my Instagram, but he's been dying to come on an episode. So he's coming with his dad. Uh, a couple of sleepy heads in the back. We got Zach and Bridget here too, just to come along for a bit of a, a bit of a holiday, you know. We got the skis on the back. So uh, let's jump on the barge and see what we find. Sometimes when you've got sponsors, you've got to use their products, and uh, this is one of those times. I wasn't bold. I was just just need to get the shot. Here with Khan. So I met Khan about a month ago actually, uh, going through a battle with cancer and that, um, but hasn't stopped him. He has, are you still speedwaying? Bloody got a speedway car. I drove that thing, well I didn't drive it, he showed me it has like a hand clutch on it, pretty crazy. Um, so Tony and Gabby here too, so they've been here before, which is good. So we're gonna boost over to the west side. So it's calm, we get a sunset over the ocean, drop the skis in. But we haven't timed the tides amazing for getting off. By the time we get to the other side where there's a crossing to go over, it should be a bit lower, which is good, but we may get bogged again. Just want to use those max tracks, you know? And straight in, just like, oh, shouts you out. Already noticed, as soon as we went on the beach, it was super soft, so I'm gonna stiffen up the shocks. There's four of us in the car. The good thing with superior shocks, a couple of clicks, and you basically adjust it to give it more compression and dampening. Made it to the beach. So there is an inland track because the tide is high. We've, we've obviously done this wrong. Two times this trailer's been to Fraser and two times it's fallen apart. Normally the, the uh, slippers come out on the axles. The first time we had to take both skis off, literally take the whole axle off and rebuild it. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Yeah, it's come out. Yeah, it's already come, it's out. come out. And then it happened a second time and we got two flat tires and we're like, we better fix this trailer. And I still haven't fixed it and now we're here. A bit bumped. This yeah, but goes, it this, this goes down. Forward enough. Yeah, it probably would. <laughs> That's the tower. Every time. Every time. You can never have a normal trip with this fella. It's not going well. Uh, I don't want to get sand in my head. Right, let's go. I found a very dirty Ford Ranger. An obnoxiously large Land Cruiser. Oh hey, boy! Yeah, bud. Okay, Ben. Yeah, I'll put it. can't believe I saw no, it. Thanks for waiting for me. That's all right. Perfect timing. I'm here with my black yeah, giveaway car. Oh, me too. <laughs> oh, oh, actually, two, I'm not. Pearly brought two it. Two black giveaway cars. Pearly yeah, brought it. it. Yep. I'm gonna start acting now. Yep. Well, we're here. I don't know if I've already told you or not, but we're gonna stay with these guys tonight. So, TJ's over here filming an episode. And they are heading to the west side tomorrow anyway. So, we're gonna head off 
about half an hour earlier than everyone else. Uh, half an hour earlier because that trail is going to cause us drama, as I can tell already. So now we're going to pull up a chair, have a few beers, and then hit the west side tomorrow and take the skis out. <laughs> Give us, give us the grand tour. Hey. Yeah, show us hey. around, mate. We've got the 80, 80, 80 dollars leader bush. Oh, what's bush. this car built for, for a start? We need, to get, we need the context. It's just like the weekender, Touring. or you go like a week at a time. Do this for um, Anything from uh, overnight to, yeah. to going away for a month. We done, when we first built it, we done four weeks up the Cape. Oh, you've done the Cape in it? Yeah. Sick. A couple of beers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah gotta have the beers. Got the fly screen going. Yeah, yeah, actually uh, sleep in the yeah. back, not on top. Yeah, me and Tony sleep in the back. No. Got pantry. Yeah, sick. All the, all the food that we don't have in there that's yeah. in the car. <laughs> yeah, right. Compressor. So you got yeah. tyres, yeah, inflator under there. Yeah, compressor under there. Folds out. Oh, yeah, I can see it like splits open. Dove and stuff. Sink, everything. So that goes like this. Yeah, you go like that. Yeah. Oh, is there even a right. Jenny? Got the old Jenny, yeah. Holy smoke. It, um, that's don't like, think it works. Yeah, it's been there a while. It's been there for a long time. Ninety-nine dollar Chinese Jenny. Yeah. And it goes second pull every time. Got all the fishing gear. Yeah. Yeah. Race car. Now we got all the electronics. Electrical stuff. Yeah. Charging spots. Yeah, that's a go. Solar panels there. Yeah, solar. Max trucks. There's nothing else to add, really, eh? I don't know anyone else who carries a Jenny around with them. I mean, yeah. that's, that's <laughs> a winner, right? They probably haven't used it for, yeah, yeah. Um, for three yeah, or four years now. It. Uh, it probably doesn't work. Tomorrow. Oh, good morning, guys. This is, uh, I'm just going to run you through the setup real quick. We've got bacon over here, eggs over here. It's working excellent. <laughs> Am I cracking you up yet? Got to be gaping. Well, we've also got the go block running flawlessly. Fridge in the back. I see we whacked that go dock in, so that has not moved. Um, these storage boxes are coming super handy as well. So we've gone towels in one, life jackets in the other, all our cutlery, food, clothes, and that massive one there. I do love tub life. This is what I fell in love with with the 80 series, having a tailgate. So you don't need to bring a table with you. You just have this set up. I got my seat here, you know, the spare tire. Working well. So today we're going to boost across. We're trying to get across early because uh, we want to make the most of the day. Whack the skis in on the calm side. We'll see how we go. Hopefully the trailer doesn't fall apart. Who's hungry? <laughs> we're about to launch a drone, but we bought the exact That's wrong drone. An FPV race drone to just, get a cinematic just, beach shot. <laughs> so, we'll see how it goes. Cinematic crash. Cinematic yeah. crash. Look what he's wearing. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> I feel like that I just made me TJ. The man's on a mission. I'm oh. scared of the TJ right now. Oh yeah. Come on. Oh. You're doing a dental exam. All right, so TJ reckons the boys are about an hour behind us with their pack up. So if they catch so us, it just proves how slow we're going with our broken trailer. Bloody arm kibbles. That'll fuck you, day. You see the book? Yeah, I see the book. We were driving along and I said, Mark, oh, that tire looks like it's a little flat. Can you just stick your head out the window? He puts his head out, has a look and goes, yeah. it looks she's sweet, fine. man. It looks sweet. Well, all I could see was the front. I could see it just still turning, like the wheel was turning. I was like, yeah, she's fine. And now that it's debated, it's just destroyed the rim square. I could we got a spare, because we didn't last time. We blew two tires last time. Glue two tires? Blue two tires. Oh, blue. Lucky I changed it. We're bogged again. There's two things I've got to do. I've got the Black Ops rear locker. That will lock the rear in. And also, I've been using the throttle controller, so we can turn that up to explode mode to give a heat flow response. So it's just a little button here. I'm on sand and mud mode at the moment. And I can move it across the off-road. Explode. Gives me all the powers. Wax and Max is under and we're out here. Oh, I forgot. I've also got a discount code for Black Ops. It's BNB. You save a ton of money. 
Go grab one. Huh? You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. You just want to do two? Yeah, because I'll keep chucking them under. The hotter it gets, the softer That's the sand gets. That's why if you want to drive Nagala Rocks, phrase a hot tip. Drive it early in the morning when it's still cool and sand's cool. I don't know if that's true. Eh? It's very true, guys. Help me with sand. Is oh, that I feel on, like on the a only really, really, really hot, hot day. day? Sam, shut up. The only reason would be if the sand dries out, maybe. When it's really hot but and the hot sand, sand temperature gets hot, it becomes more difficult to drive rather than cool sand. Oh, I don't know. Eh? Right, it becomes softer. I'd Google it. Comment down below. I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it wouldn't change. I it understand change. if the sand's a bit damp, it's tacky, and then when it's hot, it dries. Hey, Michael. Yes? Have you ever if you want to drive the Gala Rocks as easy as possible, drive it early in the morning when the yeah, sand's so, not yeah, hot yet? Yes, yeah, 100%. Roll the camera then. So, Michael, do you agree that sand is easier to drive when it's cooler in temperature? 100%. I reckon it's way cooler, right? Like, I reckon. But, but the is there science like behind, behind it, or is, or is that just a No, theory? it's because it's like, it like gets the moisture out of the sand. Yeah, so moisture, but if it's already dry. No, nice. the morning is the morning. Keep going, keep going, keep going. The boys are putting in the work. Uh. <laughs> Did you lose two mash tracks? Because then you got one, one. Yeah, they just get buried, hey. Yeah, it's like Oh no. This is why you gotta put the straps on them. <sighs> Can you feel? Oh my god, we're digging for treasure. whole of Queensland here now. These lovely people have donated a couple of max traps because we've lost two in the abyss and we cannot find them. So we're two down and we're kind of halfway in the shit stuff. Going backwards would take just as long as going forward so I don't know. Might have to grab that winch later maybe. <laughs> See how we go. No way, we found one. That means the other one's here somewhere. One, two, three. Yeah, that's what I mean. This, this, the other one should be here. We found someone else's. That's not the colour. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we're not, it's not it's even ours. There you go. Yeah, there's a couple of black ones and blue ones. You're so joking. Oh, yeah. No worries! How do you feel? Good, good. After earlier. earlier we made it. Rough. But we're here. We're here. It was an actual probably two hour journey, I reckon, that one. But the reward is we're on the west side. We've dropped the skis in. It's a little bit seaweedy. Why do you think it's seaweedy? You're the turtle sanctuary or something. No. Okay, we'll cut that bit out. But I flex up the old nap, she goes alright. Still on the ground, look at that. Boy we're here. It's not bad. I'm actually gonna miss this guy. Alright, we just pulled up for lunch. Um I thought I'd take this opportunity to kind of introduce Khan basically. He I met him a few months ago, gone through a bit of a journey with cancer and that, so I gave him the opportunity to basically tell his story and he was pretty keen. So um yeah, I'm gonna basically hand it over to him. To go through, I guess it was a year or two ago, you were completely normal, and how it just sort of came out of nowhere, and basically what, what, what the situation is, um, and yeah, just a bit of information about his background story. Um, but yeah, he's a legend, I met him a few months ago, and yeah, he frosts the four driving, loves watching all our channels, TJ, Mac, me, all the boys. Um, so yeah, so it was awesome to be able to get him out here. Um, so yeah, it's all about. So June, July last year, I was playing footy, ended up having a sore knee. Um, didn't really, a couple months later, didn't really want to go to training because it hurt a lot. I think that would have been about 
August, September. And then two days before my, before my birthday would have been the 11th of October. Went to get ultrasounds and that. But before that, I went to a physio. He told me I stretched my ACL. Still played footy because I didn't want to, didn't want to miss it. And then a couple of days later, went for ultrasound. They found something in there. And she was like, go for x-ray. Had x-rays. And then they found something too. Did not, still didn't know what it was. Went for more scans down in Brisbane. They said they'll give us a call if they find something. And then I was at school in class on my phone. Deputy principal comes in, she tells me to get off my phone because I was texting my mum just trying to see what's going on. And then got home, mum and dad sat me down and they were like, oh, you have cancer. Didn't believe it at the time because all I wanted to do was play footy. I was like, oh, you're joking, all this. And then they're like, nah, no, we're not. And then, yeah. I think it was about two weeks later, I had to have surgery to get central line in, which is what they put, this like tube in your chest that they put the, all the chemo through. Um, did that, and then a week after that, I had my first round of chemo, which was, is this button or something? This button and docks. This button and docks. And then um, two months after that, which would have been February, February 15th, I had my amputation of my right leg. A couple weeks after that, I had more scans. They're like, oh, you have cancer in your lungs. So I did surgery on that a week later. Got that out and then I did more scans and they said that I still have cancer in my lungs. They were gonna do more surgery, but now they're just gonna try and do a oral treatment type thing, which I'm not sure. Not sure what it is, but hopefully it works. And yeah. That's about it. So what what type of cancer was it? Is it in the bones or? What? Yeah, osteosarcoma. Osteosarcoma. So it's pretty crazy. It doesn't matter who you are, what you do, it just comes out of nowhere. Um, but it hasn't really slowed him down. You've got a fancy new leg coming. Well, you've got one already. Yeah. Flash little thing was telling me about. It's like it's, uh, pressure sensitive and it will like bend the knee and stuff. It's pretty crazy. So you're not on crutches all the time, which is good. But obviously at the beach, we've got to make sure the machinery in that leg doesn't get busted up. So. Yeah, we might see how he goes on the ski. How we can put Dad on the back, have a rip round. But um, yeah, it's pretty crazy, P crazy story. But it's yeah, he's kept his spirits high, which is sick. And um, yeah, pretty epic to see. Dad was uh, finding your uh, inner child. Yeah, it's been a while. How'd you go, mate? Good. We, ended up sp we spotted the whales. We ran right close to them, but they just didn't want to be near us, so they ran away. But I have videos of it. Did you get a poof of the blowhole? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I touched this blowhole. Yes. Oh, God. We, we blow stayed hole? at a responsible distance away yes. from them. And That's took not care what of the Michael said. <laughs> nah, I said I went nowhere near them. Look. Okay, show sure, prove it. We Is it we're at a distance, all right? We're getting close enough to see them. Look, Hang on. Fast forward. Yeah, I'm trying to. Oh, there we are. Oh, no, that's the Zach. <laughs> there we go. Look, there they are. There. Ah, very cute. Can't see much, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, they were great. Six and a half hours later. Okay, we are trying to race the barge because the barge leaves at five. You can have a look here. Four fifty-five. We've got five minutes. We've taken a track that wasn't a track to begin with, but it's become one. 
the road less driven. I don't know if we're gonna make it. If we don't, we're gonna leave the car on this side, jump on the skis, go over to Rainbow Beach and have a feed at the pub, come back and take the morning barge. But I kinda gotta be somewhere. As you're watching this, I draw the 80 in about three hours. It's like two past by. We have. They haven't put the pig up yet. Yeah! Oh, yay! They've pushed us so high. Oh, thank God we have to sleep here tonight. <laughs> oh, it's still too much. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's it. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, we've made it to Kalgoorlie. I'm on the phone because. I left the cameras with Beavis and Butthead back at the workshop, but we are literally minutes away from dropping the car to James. So um, the last time you see him, we're on Fraser Island. We've just spent four or five days driving across the country to personally deliver it to James. And we are here. So we just gave it a bath and we're gonna rock up and uh, see what he reckons. All right, James, here it is. Cool. This is your new car. James. Yeah. It's your new car, man. Thanks. Good to meet you, bro. Yeah. What's your name? Michael. Michael. There you go. How you going? Wow. There you go. It doesn't do justice if you're on TV. Yeah, yeah. It's like when you took them to photos, I was like, I'm enjoy it. I was like, they don't show the justice on the good car. Yeah, yeah. Now we got it all done for you. Everything's brand new. Yeah. And we've done one trip to Fraser, but other than that, hasn't been touched, so yeah. it's all real estate. But you can't drive it. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's why your brother drives. <laughs> that's the brother drive. <laughs> I won't be mad if you sell it, if you need the money, that's no. fine, that'll be better, but if you want to keep using it, that's yeah. it. But um, it's been built so you can go to and traveling. Yeah. Everything's far away in Kalgoorlie, you can go out in the bush, camping, yeah. all that stuff. Start so, getting into prospecting. Yeah, prospecting, <laughs> what do you want to do? Oh, well, let me show you around. I keep seeing your name pop up when you buy merch too. <laughs> Very supportive, you're always buying a t-shirt yeah. and stuff. I saw an order the other day, I'm like, he's already won the guy, he wants the shirt. I like the big, the new one you're doing. The big XC, the... yeah. it wants the truck, yeah, yeah that's cool, hey. If that ain't done, ref one might go. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, right, it's beautiful to drive anyway. We usually go do Jilton, run to Jilton and back and all that. It's like an 11, 12 hour journey. Yeah. yeah, this would be perfect for that. Yeah. Even the seats are nice comfy. Oh. You're yeah, pretty crazy wearing a car from just buying a shirt, hey. <laughs> I was just a, what was it, a stubby, stubby holder, wasn't it? You got it? a stubby. <laughs> yeah, it was just a stubby holder. There you go, that's pretty good value. 